here to make heads or tails of uh, two of the last uh, two of the, the the last two of the three. Unless uh, Bill Carter, you have a thought on the Little League Championship team? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't like it either. I'll, 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 I'll take that stand too. Okay, so uh, let's start. I guess with. I'll throw the, the question out to you that Dan Patrick threw out to me. Which, which is the bigger story in your mind, the Brian Williams story or John Stewart announcing that he's stepping down at The Daily Show? Well, I guess Williams is bigger because John, uh, The Daily Show will go on and so will John. Uh, you know, that, that, that's not the end of, of anything for, for his career or, or for the show. And it could be the end of Brian's career, and, and, I, and I really feel bad about that because I think he's very good at it. Um, but you know this this story just exploded, and uh, and it wasn't his choice. I mean, it's John's choice. That's the other big thing. Mm -hmm. uh, Bill Carter, uh, longtime uh, uh, reporter, New York Times reporter, author, joining me here uh, on the Rich Eisen show. So, uh, what does happen with Brian Williams? Do you do you because the investigation with NBC News is continuing right now, Bill? What what do you think happens over the next couple of weeks and months? Uh, well, we don't know. We don't know what they're going to find, Rich. I, I think we have to wait to see what they actually reveal. Clearly, they have found more, I, I think, than has come out yet, and that's a, a, an ominous sign uh, that there were a, a series of uh, episodes. In fact, they said there were further comments that they they cited in their uh, release yesterday, their memo to the staff, I guess, and. So I can't make a judgment. People are asking me, well, is it, is it absolutely the curtains for him, or, or might he actually be able to recover this? I, I think it's hard to say because we don't know, A, what the depth of it is, and B, what he can do to rehabilitate this image of his. I mean, he's a very appealing guy, you know, and I, I'm not going to write him off because I do think he has a lot to offer. But this is a bad thing. It was a, it, it, it's kind of an inexcusable thing that he was doing. He was, you know embellishing events and and you don't do that uh, as a newsman it, it comes back to haunt you i know and I, I, I part of the reason why i'm so crestfallen is because uh i i'm a huge brian williams fan i, I think the world of him and i think what he's done uh in his career obviously this is something as you mentioned inexcusable what about the other potentially 98 percent of it we they, there just seemed to be no support at all not even off the record support in his defense over the last week time, Bill. What do you make of that? Well, that was, I think, people didn't want to get out ahead of the story because they were, they were afraid they would get out and they would defend him down to the you know, ground and then they'd find something else and they'd have to go back and say something new. Uh, so they decided to say nothing, which made it look like they, there was no support for him. Uh, I, I know internally they were, you know, extremely loath to take this step because that he is li well liked. The public really does like him. He is the leading anchor man and has been for years. You don't want to make a change if you, you don't have to. Um, and he's really good at the job. That's that's the thing. And you point out 98 percent or 99 percent, a much higher percentage of what he did was completely accurate. Uh, and most of what they're talking about wasn't even stuff that was in the you know, on the air for NBC News. It was comments that he made in other venues. But this is a sensitive area because, you know, if, if a guy that loses the trust of the viewers in that position, it becomes a crisis. And, you know, and, and, and he became a pinata out there for, you know, the journalism jihad, you know, that was out to get him. Uh, and, and the Internet is unforgiving now. And, it's, you know, he's going to take a battering for a long time. And that's why a suspension is called for in a way because he, he can't get out of the bullseye in this until something else moves into the bullseye. Well, and so it, he has to get, get out of the range of fire, you know. The issue that I had to just trying to wrap my arms around it is that one of the things I, I really enjoy about him and and it is maybe because he does go on Saturday Night Live and 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 you know do the slow jams and things of that nature, is that that shows he doesn't take himself too seriously, and yet what he what he is accused of doing and what he has been suspended for was trying to burnish his credentials as a serious newsman, and I don't understand how those two things can meet, Bill. Well, that's an interesting way to put it. I don't know that I would say he was trying to burnish his credentials. Um, he was trying to 
add color to a story because right. like, even in the Iraq thing, he, he was, was there. there. I know he, he was, was there, there at some point, and and, there, and he was in a helicopter that was in you know danger because people were shooting down helicopters. So he was there, and his original report was accurate that he came upon the helicopter that was shot down. But then in the telling of the story, he added color and detail, and that's what he seems to have done, you know, kind of repeatedly, and that's a. You know, you probably know guys who do that, you know, well, <laughs> who tell the story of how they played high school football and all of a sudden, you know, they won the game by blocking a punt, you know, or whatever. And and it, it just gets to be something that adds color. And I think J- Brian is a performer. He's really good at all those things. And in some ways, this was, you know, a performance off the air, I think. And unfortunately, given the fact that there were news people, news events involved, it, it really just got out of hand, I think. I'm talking to Bill Carter, author of The Late Shift, longtime New York Times uh, television media reporter, joining me here on The Rich Eisen Show. John Stewart's Monday program, in my mind, in many ways, hit this nail on the head where he did, you know, take Brian Williams to task for what he did, but then took the media to task saying if they took this scrutiny towards the reasons why we got into the Iraq war, and I know I'm sort of getting out of a sports lane right here, if they took that sort of level of scrutiny and applied it to that and called out the media for basically throwing a Brian Williams under the bus, but they weren't there in terms of holding the feet to the fire of somebody conflating issues or maybe exaggerating issues and revolving the Iraq war, that just was part of his sort of level of brilliance in my mind, Bill, because he, that, that's what he is there for. He's sort of the ombudsman for, for American life in many ways, and him stepping down is what makes it such a seismic event in that regard. I'd love to give you uh, the floor on what you think John Stewart has meant over the last 16 years. Well, you know, that, that's a good example. I mean, because John presented a point of view and a really strong point of view with a lot of humor. But you, you turned in because you, you were like, well, what's, he, what's John's take? What is he going to say about it? And he didn't always take uh, you know, the liberal point of view. He would go after the president on, on issues. He also was fantastic in holding the media accountable. You know, they, not just in this instance, but you know, whenever they were really going crazy on a story and they were off base, he would skewer them and they didn't like it. Boy, did he expose them and they did not like it. So he, he had that value, but he also was an amazing eye for town. Look at the people he's introduced mm-hmm. in, into, into show business. I mean, Steve Carell, uh, Stephen Colbert, John Oliver, uh, Ed Helm, it goes on and on. You know, he, he found those people, they became stars on his show. He had a tremendous eye for talent. And, you know, I think just the fact that you hear all these younger people in America say, you know, I don't watch a lot of news, but I watch The Daily Show. And, and they get a lot of information for that. You know, John would constantly say to me, I'm not a journalist. I'm a comedian. I'm not a journalist. I'm not a journalist. And I would say to him, you are a journalist. You're the journalist in the, in the tradition of the great editorial cartoonists because you would take the issue of the day and skewer it. And that's really a form of journalism. And it was really an essential role. And boy, it will be missed. So you mentioned uh, at the top of this conversation, Bill Carter, former New York Times uh, television reporter, joining me here, that 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 uh, the difference between Williams and, and John Stewart is that John Stewart and The Daily Show, uh, John Stewart left of his own devices, uh, own choice, and The Daily Show will go on. So you think Comedy Central will find somebody to have uh, an after John Stewart in the same way that Kilbourne was before John Stewart. Absolutely. They, I know they will. I mean, they, this is a franchise for them. This is a crucial franchise for them. And, you know, their timing isn't the greatest, because if John had left last year, they would have handed it to John Oliver, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, and and he, he got away from them. And they have to find that kind of talent again. Um, but they've done it before. I mean, you know, they launched Colbert successfully, and they've launched Larry Wilmore successfully. So I think they'll do it. I just don't envy the person, <laughs> the man or woman, who gets that job, because that yeah. is really a tall order. Yeah, you never want to be the, the guy or the, the lady after the guy, right? I mean, that's, 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 exactly the, that's the rule. That's always the rule of television. Hey, Bill, thanks for calling in. Uh, these issues crop up so often. Uh, I, I, I'd love to uh, call you again in the future if you're, right. if you're so willing. Love to talk to you, Rich. You bet. Thank you. That's Bill Carter, a longtime New York Times television reporter. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.